Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Captain J speaking. Thanks for tuning in back to my channel. Obviously, this is just a voiceover and as promised to my subscriber, I will show you how pilots fly Cessna 172 in detail. So I have private pilot license in Canada and this video was taken during my flight training. By the way, uh, this will be a uh, really boring videos if you are looking for entertainment so do not expect a lot of interactive clips but it would be somehow interesting for those who are aspiring to be a pilot someday and will give you a good plain sight of flying a plane right in the front seat. In this video, this was my first solo in circuit training so expect some errors as this is before I got my private pilot license. Circuit training is when you practice the takeoff and landing as well as your communication with the air traffic controller. I used to document my flight so that I could remember all the steps in flying the Cessna, just in case my skills get rusty someday. The flight videos also help me to review my mistakes and learn from it for my next flight. Just a little disclaimer here, this is not a video tutorial as that should be conducted by certified flight instructors. This is only intended to share in plain sights on how pilots fly plane. For now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the front seat of the flight, and I will talk to you soon in the next part. Engine all clear. So right now, I am just reading and conducting everything that is written in the pre-takeoff checklist. This is what every pilot do even when they are doing the commercial flight. Basically just checking everything for safety before you take off. Safety first. Now you know why it takes time to get off from the airport. China Airport, information echo, weather at 1500 Zulu, wind 320 at 7, visibility 15, 11,000 scattered, 25,000 broken, temperature minus 24, dew point minus 27, altimeter 3028, IFR approach. So what you are hearing in this part is a recorded weather forecast and important in airport information in one radio station at that moment of time. So we get the information there such as the wind speed, wind direction, altimeter and active runway that are very important in flying. Inform ATC that you have information echo. Regina Airport, information echo. Weather at 1500 Zulu, wind 320 at 7, visibility 15, 11,000 scattered, 25,000 broken, temperature minus 24, dew point minus 27, altimeter 3028. IFR approach, RNAV, Zulu, runway 31. Landing and departing, runway 31. Runway surface condition at 1039er Zulu. Two zero. All clear. So in this part, I am now moving the plane to a vacant spot in the hangar as part of the checklist to park the plane into the wind. That is in order to test another set of checklists, including my communication to the air traffic controller, and that's before I taxi to the runway. So to move the plane forward, you will add the throttle, and then you control the direction through the rudder, which is being stepped by, by your two feet. So when you want to go to the left, you step on the left rudder, and when you want to go to the right, you step on the right rudder. 
and when you want to brake, you step on the top portion of the rudder. So these are the controls when you are still on the ground, but that is different when you are airborne. Brake set, mixture, battle 17. Lean for that. Harness and hatches. Roll free and. Up set. Dream set for takeoff. Return the ground, this is Cessna 172, Golf Yankee, get back Romeo. Golf Yankee Quebec Romeo, Regina Ground. Regina Ground, Golf Yankee Quebec Romeo, at the younger line with information echo for circuits code red. Yankee Quebec Romeo, runway 31, altimeter 3028. Taxi via Kilo and contact tower 1186, holding short. Taxi Kilo, runway 31, holding short, uh, Quebec Romeo. Taxi Kilo, runway 31, um, holding short, Yankee Quebec Romeo. Yankee Quebec Romeo Ground Squawk 0714. Ground Squawk uh, 0714, Yankee Quebec Romeo. And Yankee Quebec Romeo, runway length remaining from taxiway Kilo is 5200. Is that sufficient or would you like a backtrack? Uh, that's, su that's sufficient enough, thank you. Yankee Quebec Romeo. Roger. So that was my communication and advice that I get from the air traffic controller before I taxi to the runway. Probably you heard a lot of jargons, but what I communicated here is just my current location, having the current weather information that I had, and the destination of my flight. And lastly, you will always hear about the Yankee Quebec Romeo in my communication to the air traffic controller or to, to the other pilot. That is the last registration number of the plane. As a rule in the radio, you should always say your base name in order to identify the speaker. Now, um, I get the taxiway and the runway information to be used. I'm now heading to the runway, but we'll hold short there and ask clearance from the air traffic controller. This is a very long taxiway, so I'm gonna speed the video up. Anyway, I'm just driving the plane to the taxiway, going to the assigned runway, and before I go to the actual runway, I have to ask for the clearance from the air traffic controller again. Mixture <coughs> bridge. Radio set for takeoff. 118 decimals. Air ground, Jazz 344, ready for pushback. Jazz 344, ground, push your discretion. Push your discretion, Jazz 344. out. Time. And Regina, reach your tower, star 9. Sounds like it. Star 9, tower check, thanks, have a good day.
Reach out our young Quebec Romeo, holding kilo, ready to, ready for departure at runway 31. Yankee Quebec Romeo Tower at Kilo, line up runway 31. Say it again, uh, Yankee Quebec Romeo. Yankee Quebec Romeo Tower at Kilo, line up runway 31. Line up 31. Romeo Tower, caution rotor downwards from a helicopter, just approach runway uh, 13 less than three minutes ago. From Kilo, clear takeoff, runway 31, circuits left hand. We'll check remark, um, clear to takeoff, can you give it Romeo? Now, after we get clearance from the air traffic controller, we are going to take off now by pushing the throttle all the way for full power. Then we keep monitoring all the gauges if Air everything is alive. going normal, especially the airspeed. Once we reach the target airspeed, we can now fully take off. 60. Now I am flying the plane and see what happens next here. Sorry, Tower. Yang Kipe from you. I, I, I pushed the ALP button, but I just I deactivated it already. Thank you, Kipe from you, Tower Check. Thank you. Yes, I accidentally pushed the distress button with my thick gloves and that will alert the nearest tower but I was able to advise the tower about it. Pardon me for my nervousness in communicating with the tower as this is my uh, first circuit solo training. So you will hear a lot of communications between other pilots in the tower for coordinated flights under the controlled traffic area. This is a radio that if you want to say anything to the tower, you push a button to talk and you will be heard. We are now on the other parallel side of the runway, which in aviation it's called the downwind. You can see the runway on my left side window, and we now Mars need to do the pre-landing check. Master on, Monday the boat. Are you master on? Car hit. Hit fuel boat. Make sure hit. Engine start green. Richard, Richard, I'm working back Romeo and down wait for touch and go. So I just communicated with the tower about my intention to land, and then I will just wait for the response. Yankee Quebec Romeo Tower, keep your circuit in close, number one, runway 31. Number one, Yankee Quebec Romeo. So the air traffic controller advised me to keep my circuiting closer to the airport. With that, I would be able to circle the airport in faster time as some planes are also approaching. He told me that I'm the number one. That means I'll be the first one to land than other approaching planes.
So that's the Air Canada pilot who communicated with the air traffic controller. And just a trivia, guys. So uh, whenever pilots communicate with the air traffic controller, instead of just saying, okay, copy that, or I got you in acknowledging their instructions, what we need to do here is, is just to read back what they have told us. Otherwise, you can say negative if you are unable to follow their advice and just say the reasons why you can't do it. And if the instructions is not clear, you can always say, say again, to repeat what they said. We don't say repeat as that is reserved for the military. Let's observe this next um, communication with the tower. Yankee, Quebec, Romeo, tower, clear, touch and go, runway 31. Clear, touch and go, runway 31, Yankee, Quebec, Romeo. Now I'm on my final and I get the clearance to land from the air traffic controller. By the way, final means that you are now on your final turn and now approaching the runway. The landing maneuver is always busier than taking off. You have to mind the angle of the aircraft runway, your airspeed and the timing when to retard, where you level the plane to the runway before you touch down. Jazz 344 tower, line up runway 31. Line up runway 31, Jazz 344. In Quebec, Romeo Tower, check the Cessna on Kilo, exit right at Kilo, contact ground 121, that's one off. Check your mark, in Quebec, Romeo. So after you land, the air traffic controller will advise you which taxiway you will exit from the runway. My error here is I didn't read back the instructions where the pilot needs to. Air Canada 1113, tower wind 3407, clear to land runway 31. Clear to land 31, Air Canada 1113. Uh, and 20. In this part, I just exited. I just exited the runway, but before you go to the taxiway, you will do another checklist right yes, after sir. you land. After they are all good, yes, I will contact the ground Army controller call. for the Lady. instructions yes. on which taxiway I As will use in by. going to the hangar line. The hangar line is where you park the plane. Berlin for taxi. I get the time ready for ground. Return to ground, Yankee Quebec Romeo. Ready for ready, uh, holding kilo, ready to taxi at the hangar line. Yankee Quebec Romeo, ground, taxi into the hangar line. Just check there's one other Cessna coming out from the hangar line. Check for Mark, um, Yankee Quebec Romeo. Thank you. Take my Oscar ground, just check there's a Cessna taxi in from kilo for the hangar line. Now, in this part, I'm just taxiing to the hangar line where I will park the plane. I will just speed the video up and after that I will do the last checklist before I leave the plane. So that concludes the training. So just a little bit story of myself. After I get the pilot license, I didn't continue to take the commercial license because I don't like the job actually that is away from family. Like I wanted to see my children grow. It was my dream to fly a plane but not to get job for it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned at least a little bit information on how pilots fly planes. Please don't forget to like and comment. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.